Hello, my oily friends. So happy to have you with me here today. I hope you're doing great. Today, we are going to talk about gratitude and um, the impact that this makes on our mental and physical health. So gratitude is, I love this definition, right? Super easy. Let's just jump right in and get to it. A positive state of being, a feeling of thankfulness and appreciation for someone or something, and a social emotion that signals our recognition for that around us. So beautiful, right? And the, what, we, what we think about comes about and what we focus on grows. So let's focus on positive, positivity and gratitude and create more of it in our lives and attract more of it and have a better and best life. So here we go, how to get there. <laughs> All right, so gratitude, um, it turns what we have into enough, which I think is so amazing, right? If we're always focused on what we don't have, then we're always feeling the lack. But if we're focusing on what we do have, then we are more grateful and we're more happy, we're more positive. It's just a beautiful state to be in. Okay, so I thought this was very cool. There are a lot of perks physically and mentally, like I just said before, about being grateful. So I will just read through them here together. So gratitude opens the door to more relationships. That makes sense, right? Because you're a happier person, more people want to be around you, you want to be around other people. It improves your physical health, which is amazing. It improves your psychological health, not health, and that makes sense to me. It enhances empathy, empathy and reduces aggression. Makes sense. Grateful people sleep better. We'll talk more about this at the, toward the end here. But that's pretty cool. It improves self-esteem and it increases mental strength, meaning it's helping you lower stress and overcome trauma and increase resilience. So some pretty cool benefits, right? And like I said, we'll talk to more about these in a minute. Okay, so what if you're just not feeling it? You're just, you're having a hard time getting into that, that grateful space. What are some oils that can help you get there? So we have a spikenard, which is, I gotta be honest, it's not my favorite oil. I don't love the smell of it. I don't use it very often, but it has some incredible emotional benefits. So to use it for emotional benefits, this little picture here is taken from the essential um, emotions and essential oils book. I love that book. Um, and you can use it just like it says at the bottom there, it says suggested uses, and you can just diffuse it or smell it directly from the bottle, or you can apply it topically on your wrist, forehead, or over your solar plexus, which is your upper stomach. And then, um, it helps you if you're feeling ungrateful, resisting victim mentality, angry, greedy, selfish, or ex expecting bad luck. Like you're just waiting for the shoot, the other shooter drop type thing. And it can help you to move to a space where you feel more grateful, acceptance, content, peaceful. So, and if you can read through this, it's just as, it's a, a beautiful write-up that they have in these, in this book. It's just so beautiful. So just part of it is just, we'll read the top little part there. Spike Nard encourages the appreciation for life. It addresses patterns of ingratitude where individuals see themselves as targets of bad luck or victims of their life circumstances. This perception can often lead to feelings of blame and anger. For instance, if you hear somebody saying like, why does this always happen to me? Or, you know, why can't I just catch a break? Spike Nard would be a great one to use for those emotions to help work through that stuff. Okay, and if you don't have Spike Nard and you're looking for some other oils, this is also from the um, Emotions and Essential Oils book. It says other oils that you can use to help you get into that space are wild orange, helicosm, pestent, Douglas fir, lime, manuka, magnolia, beautiful harvest spice, or the huga oil. And then it talks about what can you journal through to help you process through this. And so a journaling prompt is, do I recognize the good in my life? Do struggles make me feel important? Um, and then an affirmation to say with it is I can now recognize and savor the good in my life. And then for um, to, a thought to meditate on and to visualize is seeing the good things in life magnified and enhance, enhance in your mind's eye, invite more good to enter the space. Anyway. So there you go. So some good ways to help bring um, gratitude into your life. Okay. And what about a blend? What if you need a roller bottle and you just want to grab it if you're want to use it before you meditate or before you go to bed at night or before you're journaling or whatever? This is a gratitude blend. I think it's brilliant. 
So it's five drops of bergamot, which is great for helping with negative self-talk, five drops of frankincense, three drops of geranium, which is oil of love and trust, five drops of wild orange, which helps with abundance, three drops of Siberian fur that helps with um, letting go of old habits carried on by your family members, three drops of clove, and then you put all that in a 10 mil roller and then fill it up with fractionated coconut oil. Anyway, so it sounds like a beautiful blend. And then this is a diffuser blend I found. I tried this one out and it does smell really good. It's very grounding and yet uplifting at the same time. And it's three drops of cypress, two drops of sandalwood and two drops of Siberian fur. And it was good. Anyway, so those are the things that help bring about gratitude. Okay, then I found this. I thought this was really cool. So research um, shows that people who practice gratitude ex experience significant improvements in their physical, mental, and emotional health. And studies show that writing in a gratitude journal for just a few minutes a day can improve your well-being by over 10%. Such a simple habit for an amazing result. An attitude of gratitude also lowers stress levels, increases energy, improves sleep, and it releases more endorphins. Uh, I love it. And this says, oh, and it's a massive impact on the quality of your relationship, personal and professional relationships. Sorry, personal and professional. Anyway, so it's just amazing, right? A small, a small little step. So, um, so with that, we're going to talk about gratitude journals and have you ever done one before? So I have done them in the past for a few different years. I've kept one, um, for a couple of years. It was, it was great. I loved it. I did it through college actually. And some people write like long journal entries about experiences that they're grateful for. And you totally can do that. I found it easier for me to just do bullet points of things that I was grateful for that day. What was I feeling truly in my heart grateful for that day? And I would just write like three to five things. And that worked for me and I loved it. But I also just found these gratitude journal prompts, which I thought were brilliant. So you could just Google this gratitude journal prompts and find this. I think this would be great to have printed out and maybe pasted like in the front of your, of your gratitude journal, if that's what you want to do. And, and just gives you ideas of things that you can write about. Cause sometimes we just need little prompts to get us going. Right. Anyway, whether or not you do it every day or once a week, I don't think it matters. Just doing it is what counts. And then another version of a journal is a jar, a gratitude jar. And this just can be little scraps of paper you can do it yourself and just leave it like on your nightstand or something and just run the kitchen counter and just write one thing and throw it in. As soon as you're feeling it, write it down, throw it in. Um, you could make it a family affair and have everyone do it. Um, you can do it at dinner and then read it at the end of the week together. You could do it all year and read it at the end of the year together at New Year's Eve or something. Anyway, so many different fun ways that you could do this, or you could do it just at like certain holidays and then read it the following year on that holiday or something. Anyway, I really like this idea because I think there's lots of fun ways that you could incorporate this, whether it's just by yourself or with your family or those you live with. And I love this graphic. I found this. I think it's so fun. And I love it for basically if you're needing ideas. So you could put, print this out, put it on the journal jar um, or write some of the words down just to give people ideas of things that they can be grateful for and need to be grateful for. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Just so many little things like rocks, <laughs> I think is on there somewhere. And yeah, stones they have and plants and the wind and the rain, just so many beautiful things that we have on our earth that we take for granted and we don't really uh, think about all the time. Anyway, <clears throat> okay, so this is my own little thing that I kind of made up out of a version of a journal jar or gratitude journal. And these are just gratitude thoughts. So I struggle with anxiety from time to time. And this is something that I do that helps me tremendously. I have it, I call it, I call it the gratitude thoughts. And I put it in my top 10, as far as tools and resources that I use to help me when I'm struggling. And this is <clears throat> usually I like to do this one at night as I'm laying in bed. And if I'm having a hard time falling asleep at night, and I will just think about 10 nice things that people have done for me throughout the day um, or something somebody's done to help me or something just whether it was a text someone sent or a kid helping with the dishes whatever it was I try to think of 10 nice things that people in my life did for me for the day or maybe it's just the mailman right brought me in my mail that day right so 10 things like that 
And then I try to think of 10 things that I did for other people or 10 things that I could do like tomorrow for somebody. Um, anyway, so I just like this. It really helps shift my thinking um, when I'm worrying or stuck on negative thoughts. This just really helps shift it for me. And I, I, I love it. It helps me a lot, especially at night. So I'm going to sleep. Okay. Then this, Vanessa Jean, she is in Australia and she does something called aromatic dressing. Brilliant. <clears throat> anyway, and she has this little recipe for expressing gratitude. And you basically just mix this together as if you would a perfume or you can layer them and apply them. And if you've never heard of aromatic dressing, you should look it up and do it. It's pretty cool. And it really helped me, um, I learned to love my body in a different way and be grateful for my body. So anyway, I really liked it. I encourage you to, to look into it if you hadn't. And that's something that maybe you struggle with is loving your, your physical body. Um, but this, you can make into a roller or you can put it in the diffuser or you could add it to your lotion and put it on your body like that. So lots of fun ways that you could do this one. Okay, so feeling, I love this little quote, feeling gratitude and not expressing it is like wrapping a present and not giving it. It's fun, huh? So um, this one I makes me think of social media. So social media can be a difficult thing for a lot of people because they get into the comparison mindset, right? Like thinking, oh, you know, you look at everybody's posts and think that that's their life and that's all there is and there's never anything bad and why can't your life be like that and why can't you go on vacation that place or why can't your kids ever look that cute or whatever it is right <clears throat> and if you find yourself getting in that one thing that I do that I love to do um and I, I don't struggle as much with the comparison thing on social media I love social media but I know that a lot of people struggle with the comparison thing on there but anyway but if you a challenge that I like to do is just to go with the first five people in your newsfeed. It doesn't matter who they are and how you know them. And if you really know them or not, just comment on the first five people and pay a sincere compliment or say something positive to the first five people regardless. And I love that because it really makes me get outside my comfort zone as far as whether or not it's somebody I want to comment on. And, um, and just to think of something nice to say to someone, it's a great act to do. You could also do this if you're out running errands, you know, make a challenge to compliment like three strangers, right? And just randomly say something nice. Anyway, I just like doing like stuff like that because it really, I don't know, it just becomes contagious, right? And you want to do more of it. So that's that. Okay, so we'll wrap it back around to some more health benefits. This was really cool excuse me, and this is Robert Emmons, who's a gratitude researcher. Like how amazing that there is somebody who is a gratitude researcher. I think it's awesome. And so he came up with these little benefits of gratitude. He says, gratitude improves well-being by 10%, which the same impact as doubling your income. Pretty cool. Um, and we read that one at the beginning. He, it provides immu improved immune function. Oh, yeah. How amazing is this? Okay. So gratitude increases optimism, which studies show enhances the cell mediated immune system, the way our body fights viruses and bacteria. Pretty amazing. Writing in a gratitude journal can induce the relaxation re response, resulting in improved mood, relaxed muscles, lower blood rate, and lower, sorry, lower blood pressure and heart rate. Gratitude improves resiliency to stress and makes you more likely to offer support to others. Gratitude improves relationships. And gratitude makes you friendlier, more social, and more helpful to others. This one I think is the coolest, that it increases sleep quality and sleep duration. It decreases the amount of time that it takes you to fall asleep at night. Amazing. People who have practiced gratitude exercise on average of 40 minutes per week. And the last is gratitude is happiness recognized after the fact to be caused by the kindness of others. Beautiful stuff, right? And we, we need more of it in our lives and in our world so we can be the change, right? Well, thanks for joining me. I'm tuning in. Here's some of the classes that I have coming up or schedule that I have coming up. We're doing some baking next and 
what is the greeting habits for the new year anyway but yeah but thanks for tuning in i'm glad you're here and let me know any questions or comments you have i love to hear success stories or questions and yeah have a great day bye